This is uh, coming in to the Bacardi fabric uh, factory here. And it's a really nice uh, entry point. We're looking forward to having our day at the mixology class of Bacardi. <laughs>
always ready to get to know a little bit about Mojito. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you something real fast. A little fun fact, and then we'll begin. Okay, okay, I swear, I promise. <laughs> okay, so Mojito is a composition of two words. Eh, mojo, or mojo, and ito. Now, back in African culture, what mojo means, or meant, was magic potion. And then, ito is just the diminutive that we use in Spanish to say little to everything, okay? So, now, what we've got in total is a combination of a magic little potion. Who here is ready to make a magic little potion with me today? facing up. You don't want the peel facing up because once we start to model, what you're going to get from that peel is going to be bitterness. And what we want instead is the juices, the sweetness of the fruit. So you're going to take four lemon wedges and you're going to place them face up in your glass, okay? Beautiful. All right, all right, all right. I gotta come up with something for everybody to just know. When I so for me to know when everybody's done. So like, I don't know if this. I don't know if I can get a yeah. So please, just everybody, let me know if you are done, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. So now that we've got the, those four lemon wedges, those four lime wedges on our glass, we are now going to get uh, the bar spoon, everybody. Get that bar spoon, and with the spoon side, you're going to pour two scoops of sugar into your glass, all right? Now, you can, you can use one scoop of sugar, you can use two, three, you can pour the whole thing in there. It just depends on how much you care about your health, my people. <laughs> it's all up to you, you know? I don't make the rules, you make them. <laughs> okay, okay. I see the faces, I see everybody's ready with that. Now let's continue on. I like it, I gusta. Se vende esto. Okay, so now that everybody's doing that, we're going to take our modeler, and now let me see you move that model around like you know what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so now we are going with this model. This is, remember, we are not, we're not doing no fungo, okay? So we are not, Chagando online, we are going to gently, my people, we're going to press and twist, okay? Now, press and twist, and press and twist, yeah. Feel it. Make it your own, yeah. Press and twist, and press and twist, and press and twist, and press and twist. And press and twist. <laughs> by that is to get those juices out to mix them with that sugar yes yes get it all together my friends mash it all the way up and whenever everybody is done let me get see some juices when you are able to see a little bit of juice all the way up like maybe from here that means you're good you've done your part you've done your modeling correctly oh yes that's looking really good really proud of all of you i'm really proud of the making of the mojito process that you are doing yes okay i think we are good with the modeling at the moment i see all of you have been able to get those juices out of that fruit just like we want. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret here from Casa Wacardi because why do I call it a secret? 
Well, I mean, when you go to most bars, I don't want to say all over the world, I have to travel all the world. But here in Puerto Rico, I got to tell you, this next ingredient, a lot of people take it and they beat it up. And that's not what we're going to do here in Bacardi. We're going to take care of our ingredients. So please, everybody, you can do this with your hands, with your tongs, of course, Covidera. You can do it with your tongs. And you're going to take four to five lemon leaves and you can pour the whole thing into your glass. Four lemon leaves. Now what I'm telling you is a secret. It's because really, when you go around the bars in Puerto Rico, you will see the bartender taking that mint and modeling it together with the lime and with the sugar. And you're breaking that leaf. It's losing that prettiness of the, of the leaf. So next thing you know, you're taking your selfies and you've got some mint leaves all over your teeth. Not only that, but once you model that mint, those oils are going to get activated into your modeler, as well as when people clap them. Once you're clapping them, you're activating the oils but to your hand. And we want to make sure to keep all those flavors into our glasses. So everybody is going to pour the mint without breaking it down. And what we're going to use to activate the flavors is going to be our Bacardi Superior Carta Blanca. So everybody take your mini bottle, screw it open, and please make me proud. Pour that whole thing in there. We're not going to use the measure. Come on, we're Bacardi. Forget about it. <laughs> Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to take our bar spoon after we pour all of our rum. And now we are going to stir all of those ingredients together because now with the rum, those leaves are going to activate, okay? Those, all, those uh, oils, flavors, and aromas are going to activate with the rum. Okay, so we want to mix those mints together, stir them up and elevate that minty sweetness, freshness in our cocktail. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, 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 Transparent and a mojito 
should be murky, okay? So we are now going to take our bar spoon and then we are going to take the coin side all the way to the bottom of our cocktail. And guess what we're gonna do with it, guys? We're going to swizzle our cocktail. Now you can swizzle with two hands, you can swizzle with no hands, or you can swizzle with, I mean, you can swizzle with two hands, one hand. <laughs> to see that line, that mojito, and you want to see those mint leaves all over your cocktail. So with the coin side, make sure that you're scooping up those ingredients. Scoop them up. If you ever go into a bar and you get a transparent mojito, my friends, you should take that back, okay? You will not allow yourself that deal respect. You will let them know you came to Casa Bacardi and the Teresa taught you and let you know that your mojito gotta be sucio, it gotta be murky, it gotta be dirty. Okay, if it's not, take it back, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta tell you, I wanna drink all of your mojitos, but I can't be like that, so I gotta let you all have it. So in good Puerto Rican and Latino culture, yes, everybody be proud of what you've accomplished because you've made one of the world's most known cocktails here today with me. So everybody come on. I was trying to get it yesterday at the supermarket, I couldn't find it. I was disappointed. Okay, 
Now that everybody's got their coke and a creamy to your shakers, there's a ve- Molly, but oh, you're keeping me on my toes. I like it. Everybody take a seat. Move your little Yes. <laughs> yeah, salute, 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 salute. Oh, no, over the place. Health. That's what we're saying. Salute. We're cheering to help, man. To you help, my people. Yes. You don't forget it. It's an empty food. They go with that spoon. I like it. <laughs> okay, now we are ready. Thanks, everybody. I know that you are loving that coconut creamy cream, but I want everybody to take the glass of Bacardi Añejo Cuatro. And I got a question for all of you. Are we going to be measuring our Bacardi Añejo Cuatro? Don't shake, don't shake, don't shake. I know you're like, you're like, oh, 
you're showing me who you are behind that bar, everybody. And you know what? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everybody in this room. We've got no spills. It's been a successful afternoon for me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm going to get you the bubble. So I'm happy 
in my stocking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to our mixology class at Casa Bacardi and I have to say when it started we were really concerned because we were in this huge tour group and we thought it was going to be this corporate thing there were like at least a hundred people there and we each were tasting our our uh, gold Bacardi, special reserve our special reserve and we thought oh this is going to be crap and then we whizzed by this uh, quick mini tour of a few buildings but the mixology class was incredible. Our teacher, Joisa, and our tour guide, she was just amazing and she turned the mixology class into a party and you didn't care if there were a hundred other people in the room because we were all having so much fun and we all felt like so much part of the whole experience. We learned how to make mojitos and we learned how to make piña coladas and we learned how to just relax and have fun and enjoy the vibe of Bacardi rum. So thanks for joining us on our tour of Bacardi and our $80 mixology class. And if you ever want to try it yourself, you should know, worth every penny. So Absolutely. Do it. Absolutely worth every penny. It was, do it. Uh, it was a... Come on to Bacardi, learn how to make a cocktail. Take that information home, maybe buy yourself a little spoon or maybe a muddler and you can make him at home for the rest of your life. Or maybe a fifth or two. What? Or maybe a fifth or two of uh, whiskey. Yes. I mean of uh, geez, oh, rum. Yeah, how much have I drank tonight? Today? We've had a lot to drink, so <laughs> excuse us. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this wonderful rum tour of Casa Bacardi here at Messy Suitcase. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified of our future wonderful videos. Until then, hasta mañana, hasta la vista, and may your suitcase always be messy.